Hi everyone, Sam here from Barn2 with another WordPress plugin tutorial. If you run a WordPress website, you may have considered limiting access to specific categories on your site. For example, you might want to create a private section on your blog that only certain people can access, or maybe you want to create a password protected portfolio. You can also use this feature to provide very specific pages or posts for paid users, people who have paid to access the materials on your site, but you don't want them to be available to the public. Now, WordPress itself does allow you to add password protection to specific posts. It's not possible to password protect an entire category or group of posts. And it also doesn't allow you to grant password free access to the logged in users of your site, such as administrators or staff. In this tutorial, we'll be using the Password Protected Categories plugin, which is available on our website, barn2.com, and it's also linked in the description. If you're not familiar, this plugin features three types of protection. First is Password Protected Categories, so you can add a password to a category or set of posts within your website. This will cover any of the posts within that category, and you can create as many passwords as you need and distribute them out to all the people that need access to it. The second type of protection is role protected WordPress categories. This means that you can grant access to these categories on your website to logged in users within a certain role. For example, administrators, staff, editors, writers, this sort of thing. This allows you to create different levels of protection on your site so that people who participate and contribute to your site can still access the content that they need to without being able to access everything at once. Third type of protection is the user protected WordPress categories. This is where you can create categories that are only visible to specific user accounts. This is exactly what you need if you're trying to create a hidden WordPress client portal. What's really handy about this plugin is it works with all WordPress pages and post types, including custom post types that you create, or even the ones that are created by other plugins you may have, such as e-commerce or event plugins. And one other cool feature is that you can choose to hide these password protected categories on your public website, or you can actually make them publicly viewable, but still needing a password to be entered in. And finally, setup takes just a few minutes, which I'm gonna show you how to do right now. In case you're not familiar, you won't find this plugin on the WordPress plugins page because this is a premium plugin. It does need to be purchased from our website. Once you've purchased the plugin, you'll receive an email from us with download files and an activation key. You're gonna save that zip file to your computer and to install it, we're gonna to go to WordPress, plugins, add new, and upload plugin. Drag and drop the zip file into the space shown or use browse to find it on your computer. Once you've uploaded it, it will automatically install. The first thing you see when you've installed it is the setup wizard. First, it's gonna ask you for the license key, which you've got in the email when you purchase the plugin. You're gonna copy that in and jump through the next steps of the setup wizard, toggle the settings to whatever you need them to be. I'll just show you what I'm doing with mine here. For example, you can limit the amount of time before the password needs to be re-entered. So I'm setting mine for seven days. Let's see how the plugin works on our website. On your dashboard, navigate to posts and categories from the different categories that exist on your website, assuming you have some categories. You can click on one and hit edit. Now you can see on the bottom here, we have the visibility and we can add in some passwords to uh, whatever we would like it to be. We're just going to add client password as an example. We can add as many passwords as we like here for as many clients as we have. As so long as they need unique passwords, we can just keep adding new ones. Now let's view the changes that we've made on our website. So here we can log in and we can see this is perfect. We, we tried to access the page without a password and it was protected. But once we enter the password, we can view all of the contents. We can download the photos and use it as your client would want to use it. Now, the next type of protection is the user roles. So I'll just show you how that works here. We're going to add a few people, for example, the author, contributor, and administrator to this content piece. Now, anyone who is logged into WordPress and has that level of access will be able to also see this content without having to enter any passwords. So you don't have to give them a password. You don't have to assign it to them. You just have to give them access this way. You can also combine these different types of passwords and access levels in different ways so that 
all the users on your website, as well as the people in the public who need access, can also access uh, what you need on your website. So the third type of protection is for a very uh, certain user. So in this case, I'm just going to put in my own name uh, because there's no other users on this site to, to demonstrate this. So I'll put in my name and when we check that once again on the website, I will have access to view that stuff. So perfect. Now I have access to see that. It's automatically viewable and I don't have to enter a password. One more thing I'd like to mention about this plugin is that if you create a password protected category, it's automatically hidden and no indexed from search engines. If you want to check out the password protected categories plugin, you can always view it on our website and it's linked in the description below. If you stayed to the end of the video, please give us a thumbs up, show your support for these tutorials and check out this video next. This video, this video, this video. Check out this video next. One of these two.